spotting in Miami before we leave our last outing, I said. Well, luckily, one of Bobby's friends asked us to go out for pizza, so let's see how that goes. We're still in downtown Miami. This is our neighborhood. This is the arena where the Miami Heat play. In half a mile, turn it's right Kaseya to Miami. Now State it was Road FTX, and, and then before it was Miami something Beach. else. You have a lot of high rises. This is the tallest building. He's saying that this is the tallest building. You know. lose David Beckham. Yeah, David Beckham lives in this building. It looks like like an X. You can't really see it. It's, it's the one next to the one that looks like it has green glass okay so this is the building that's coming up where david beckham lives like this building that has like the lines that's in the middle with the pretty like interesting bottom piece here i'm sure he has other places but this is one of the places that he lives go past this light then at the next one use the right lane to merge onto state road at 1a north toward miami beach So this is the port of Stay Miami. Stay in the right three lanes. Over here, we see the cruise ships. Probably see a lot more the further down we get. And then this is downtown over here. And I can see our building too. And Bobby is saying this is like the Belgrade waterfront building. <laughs> he always calls it that. We're actually on our way to Miami Beach, so it's fairly uh, quick to get there from our house. Probably about 15 minutes. You see, there's a cruise ship coming up here. It's huge. Hi, Jaylo. Hi. Are you ready to eat? In 3.2 miles, okay, guys. take exit 2 toward US 1 and this I forgot to make the video we got there because we were talking, we were hungry. eating and everything, so sorry about that. And we had the baby too, so you know how it is with toddlers. So now this is opposite way. So now we're heading back home, going back downtown from the beach. You see all of the lights. Now you can see the mansions, like you see one that's illuminated right there. Yeah, they're very cheap, to... very cheap, 20 million, 30 million. <laughs> I don't know if they cost that much. <laughs> Shiloh is back there talking. Yeah, so over here to the left, this blue light, that is the Norwegian Cruise Lines headquarters. Or... All right, guys, welcome back for another video. This is going to be our new home tour. It'll just be me. Bobby is at work right now, so I'll be giving you a tour. You will not see me on camera. Cause she's just looking at the house today and I look crazy. So let's get started. All right, so this is a front entry. I'm thinking about doing maybe like a console table over here to the left. Hi, Shiloh. <laughs> and then this. We have the stairs over here. Now the stairs are black because initially whatever wood they were using for the treads, whenever they tried to stain it to match the flooring, it just didn't look right. So I was just like, okay, just make them black. Now the railing is stained. And although it does not perfectly match the flooring, you see it kind of contrasts perfectly. So I'll take you up there a little bit later. The elephant is just there. You okay? You okay? No? Okay. So, here we have... Don't go outside, baby. We have the garage. There's not a lot of things in here. We still don't have it completely organized. We have a lot of boxes because we don't know where to put them yet. We have our car, our Peloton, shoes, strollers. <laughs> 
And then over here in this corner, we have Bobby's tools and a lot of like different paints and other things that were left over from building the house. Also, let me state this. Please don't judge us. We are normal people. We're no celebrities. We have things all over the place, just like normal people. We are normal. All right, so coming back, this is the front entrance. And you have this little mud room here. I think this this is what this is called. Ask Bobby to make this because I just didn't have anywhere to put the shoes or jackets, any of those things. So it comes in handy. We're in this cage. Doesn't belong there. But we have a little gallery wall. Which is cute, Shiloh. And then down this hallway, we have another gallery wall. Now I'm missing two portraits here. I just haven't figured out which pictures to put. So, all right. So then you have the bathroom. Wait a minute, I don't wanna be on camera, so. Have the bathroom here. I need to zoom out. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like it's quite small. If I wish, let me see. I'm trying to zoom out here. I wish we were able to edit the floor plan, but by the time we went under contract, the framing on the house was already up. So it is what it is. And then over here, we have Shiloh's room. Now, there is carpet in her room because we just couldn't justify spending the extra amount to get hard flooring in the, in the rest of the house, like in these bedrooms on this side, because we can just do it ourselves. So you have her crib, and you have the board and batten, which Bobby did himself. He did a great job on it. You have her bookcase. She throws books all over the floor every day. We'll ultimately mount her TV, but I think I wanna get her a newer TV. And then you have, see, here's a book right there. You have a closet. I don't know, maybe I should just turn the phone this way. How about this? Maybe this is better, I don't know. Let's see. So you have a closet. Which ultimately, I think Bobby wants to do a built-in, but this is how it looks now. I don't know, y'all. I think I'm going to keep it this way. We'll see. <laughs> so, you have Shiloh here again. She's going into my office, and she's taking my camera. All right. So, this is my office. Not much to write home about. Still a work in progress. Keep in mind, we just moved a month ago, so still a lot of things are in boxes. We had a lot move across country. Initially, I wanted my desk to face this direction because I wanted, you know, people to be able to come in and sit across from me. But I have too many wires and cables, so I'm just going to turn it the other direction facing the wall to be able to hide those. Unless, ultimately, I get an outlet in the floor because... I have two monitors now, but I'm going to get a third monitor. So it's just, it's just too much with all these wires. And I think it's dangerous for Shiloh to be in here. And now this is a standing desk. So I had the treadmill there. So sometimes when I lift my desk all the way up, I just walk while I'm working. It's good if you want to lose weight. And that is it. Now, also, we don't have curtains in these rooms because, like I said, a lot of these rooms are still work in progress. So... All right, let's go back on this side. All right, so let me show the bathroom again because I don't feel like I was able to get the mirror. I'll give you a good look. Okay, so still need to steam these curtains, shower curtains. Or these are actual curtains. I don't know. I think they look nicer than shower curtains because they're super long. And then you have the mirror here, the light fixture. So it's cute. Since we were able to go under contract pretty early, we were able to choose the flooring, the countertops, and a lot of the like the fixtures and everything for the house. 
So we chose the counter and the flooring. However, I wasn't at the store in person, so Bobby was able to choose, you know, from showing me on the phone. And I think I'm going to ultimately like regrow or dye the floor. So here we go. All right, so here we are coming up the stairs. We have carpet again up here. Look, some of it has gone onto the stairs. So, and I'm breathing hard because I have Shiloh, she's heavy. All right, this is a little, I don't know, I guess it's like a sitting area. And then we have the fourth bedroom here, which is extremely large, has its own AC unit. And she's pretty cute. So ultimately, we plan to do like a, maybe like a movie room in here, but it will be guest room slash movie room. So thinking 85 inch TV and maybe like a lit out couch or something like that. So <laughs> right now it's just being used for storage. <laughs> and then we have a closet here. which is full of Shiloh's old clothes, other baby items. Why did you close that? Hey, 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 come back. Hey, come back. All right, guys. All right, back to our sitting area. This is Christmas tree box to Luna's towel because Luna takes a bath up here. This is the guest bathroom, third bathroom in the house. I know this blue, all this doesn't go, but I liked it. So, come this way, babies. Wait, I don't want her to fall down the stairs. Okay, so same countertop, same flooring. Just a different vibe. It's a lot larger up here. Um, I chose to leave the builder grade mirror in this one because I didn't feel like I really cared what this would look like. <laughs> And we have a little rug, which I think is cute. And then here we have our attic, which is locked. I'm not going to go all the way in because I don't have on shoes, but extremely large. Like you can go all the way around the corner and you could probably fit like three more rooms up here. All right. And now we are starting to go into the common area. So you have this tall walkway here. And then you have a big open living room. You have Luna. <laughs> you have a Christmas tree that's not finished yet <laughs> at all. And then we have a fireplace mantle. Now, ultimately we are going to do like built-in shelving on this side and also on this side where the tree is, but this side is a bit larger, so we might do have slats and then have like the built-in shelving with lights. And have the window and the curtains or drapes, I have to steam them and train them so the pleats are consistent. We have a rug, couch, and as far as the coffee table, I've already ordered it. It's going to be a custom marble table. So it's Calcutta Viola. It's going to take about three weeks. And then I'll have that there. Yes, the couch is white. And the rug is white. And I haven't really had any problems because, one, I don't allow Luna on the rug. Shiloh does not get to eat in the living room. No one else gets to eat in the living room. We all eat at the table. And this is a performance fabric. So whenever there's something on it, I can just use soap and water and wash it off. It looks like there's like a spot right there towards the bottom. Maybe someone's shoe. And maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. And the light back here 
does not belong in here. It's broken. So just keeping it in here for now until we can get something else. And the curtain panel here, I didn't want to order until I was sure that the color, I like the color and everything for the other one because they're quite expensive. So now I can order the other one. All right. And over here we have the kitchen and the dining area. Oh, dining area here. I don't know what this is called. I think it's called frame molding or something like that. So Bobby did this. It's really nice. And we started this side, but we can't find, we need another piece and we can't find it. So we have to wait or go to a different store. I don't know if ultimately I want the color of this wall changed since it blends in with other walls, but we'll see. And then as far as the table, I'm probably going to do something else on top of the table. Maybe a different runner. Maybe candles or something. I don't know yet. I have a kitchen. And I really want to get lights added above the island because I feel like it's just missing lighting there. I have Shiloh's little area. The pantry is over here. Store behind Shiloh's high chair. Have our bespoke refrigerator, which I love. And then the counters, which I love these two. They're so, you can't really see from the video, but well, there is like a hole there because when they were installing them, someone put like a heavy tool or something and it cracked it. But I love the countertops. And yeah, so that's the kitchen. You have a window here. And then, yeah, that's the living room. I didn't want crown molding because I felt like the ceilings weren't high enough. I think our ceilings in here are, I think they're eight and a half feet or nine feet. So I just feel like it would have made the ceilings look shorter. It probably would have looked nice maybe in the living room, but I don't know. So Shiloh's toys. So over here we have laundry room, which it is a mess right now because Bobby is going to like do shelving and everything. And here's from this angle. And the countertops, like we really wanted quartz, nice, really expensive ones, but just was too much, so we just got this, the marble. Okay, so I came back this way because I wanted to ask you guys what you think we should do with these walls. So right here we have the thermostat and this wall is just blank. Then we also have blank wall right here. So on this wall, I want to do like a console and maybe like a tall mirror or something. I don't know. And see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is a real video. Shiloh has just taken all kinds of things and just put them on the floor. All right. So back to the tour. I'm not going to show you our room because it's just a disaster and I, I, mm -mm, I would be embarrassed to show you. Our bed isn't fully put up yet because we're missing a piece. So I will show you our bathroom now because it's cute. All right, so this is our master bathroom. And you see, again, look at this girl bringing stuff in here. Okay. <laughs> so I love the floor. At first, I didn't really care for it. Originally, I wanted just the dark ones, but Bobby was just stuck on doing three colors so it ended up turning out nice i think the important thing to remember when you get this type of flooring is make sure whoever's installing it knows what type of pattern you like because initially the guy wanted to just do like all of them going across which it would just look like a big polka dot mess so we came up with this kind of like c half c pattern which it looks so much better 
So you have this first door to the left, that is where the toilet is. And then you have, where's the sinks and the mirrors. I'm really upset because I got the mirrors too large, so that's why they kind of like flush to the wall. They're not flush, but there is like a little bit of space next to them, but ultimately I'm probably gonna get smaller ones. I would have returned them, but Bobby had already thrown, thrown away the box. And we have quartz on the sinks here. And then this door right here is the closet. Over here we have a bathtub which I hate, but again, this tub was already in here when the framing was up by the time we went under contract. So, because I would have completely taken the tub away. <laughs> this has got a freestanding tub or extended the shower, just made it go across the wall. So over here, we have our shower. It's pretty large. It could probably fit like three people. Three or four people. I just don't like that it's kind of like inside of a wall, if that makes sense. I don't know. And this is the closet. So I'm about keeping it real. It's a mess. It's not super organized. One day we will do built-ins, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Just disorganized. But we're going to work with it. And this, it also has carpet in here. I didn't want to show you the floor because, well, here, like this area. It has carpet in here as well. So I'm, I want him in the future to do like hard flooring or something because I don't like it. Yeah. And you also have the linen closet over here where Shiloh is standing and pulling out things. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. That is our home tour. It's the start of home for us. And, you know, one day we'll get the home of our dreams, our dream home. But right now we're happy. What do you guys think? Oh, I'll show you this part right here too. Just a little bitty patio. We were asked if we want to extend the concrete out here, but <sighs> extra money. No, no, no. So ultimately we might extend it as we might. We're thinking to put a swimming pool in the backyard. So we'll see how it goes. Sunday morning waking up with you. We got no plans. We got nothing to do.